The library has both print and online encyclopedias. Encyclopedias are especially useful when you start your research because they can get you familiar with your topic, give you ideas for research topics, and help you brainstorm search terms. The library has many encyclopedias, handbooks, which are usually a bit more detailed than encyclopedias, and dictionaries in our reference section. You can go to the library to browse these resources and make copies of the pages you need, but you can't check them out. I'm going to show you how to access Gale eBooks. From the library homepage, under the One Search search box, click on the button for eBooks. This will take you to a list of our eBook databases. If you scroll down to G, you'll get to Gale eBooks. Click on the link for Gale eBooks. If you're off campus, you'll need to log in with your One Login credentials. This is the same username and password you use to get into Canvas. Click on the One Login button. Now we're in Gale eBooks. From here, you can do a basic keyword search. I'm going to search for pizza. Here are my results. The most relevant results will come up first. You can also limit your results by subjects. For example, if you're interested in street food and food habits. And by document type. For example, let's say you want a cultural overview. Or maybe you're more interested in a country overview. So before I choose which encyclopedia article I want to look at, you can get an idea of what the emphasis of the article is going to be by looking at what encyclopedia or other reference book the article is from. So for example, my top result is from the Encyclopedia of Food and Culture, which tells me that the article is probably going to emphasize the food item itself. The second result is from the Encyclopedia of Popular Culture, so it's probably going to emphasize the pop cultural aspects of pizza. If you scroll down, we also have a result from Video Hound's Golden Movie Retriever, which is an encyclopedia full of movie reviews. So this isn't going to be about the food item, it's going to be a review of a movie called Pizza from 2005. So probably not relevant to my needs. Now to access the article, you don't want to click on the image of the encyclopedia itself, because this will just take you to the table of contents of the entire encyclopedia. When using encyclopedias, you're not going to use the entire book. What you're looking for are specific articles within the book. So to access this article, you want to click on the title of the article. So here's my article. If you scroll down, you will notice that our search terms come up in red. So let's scroll back up. So once you find an article that you think you might use, be sure to email it to yourself by clicking on the Send To button here. From here, you can send it to your Google Drive, your OneDrive, or your email. You can also get the citation for the article by clicking on the Cite button. You can get the MLA, APA, or Chicago citation. You can also download it if you're on your home computer, or you can print it if you prefer. Another neat feature, if you prefer to listen to an article being read, is you can click on the Listen button, and the article will be read to you. Italy. Italy has a long and rich culinary tradition. You can also change the font size to make it bigger or smaller. You can even translate the article to a variety of other languages. Now, the translation quality is roughly equivalent to Google Translate, but it can still be useful if you're having some difficulty with certain words or passages. So to review, encyclopedias are useful for when you're starting your research and need to learn more about a topic. Click on the title of the article, not the image of the encyclopedia, to access the article. You can email the encyclopedia article to yourself. You can get the MLA, APA, or Chicago Works Cited Citation of the article through the database.